Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how electrons are shared in covalent bonding. You should then be able to draw diagrams to show covalent bonding in hydrogen, chlorine and hydrogen chloride. And I should point out that these molecules are required in the specification. We've already seen that ionic bonding happens when a metal reacts with a non-metal. Remember that the outer electrons are transferred from the metal atom to the non-metal atom. Ionic bonding produces ions, which are atoms with an overall charge. And ions have the stable electronic structure of a noble gas, in other words, a full outer energy level. So in this video, we're looking at what happens when non-metal atoms bond together. This is called covalent bonding. We're going to start by looking at a very simple covalent molecule, which is the hydrogen molecule H2. So what does this formula tell us? Well, it tells us that we have two hydrogen atoms bonded together. Here's hydrogen on the periodic table, and we can see that hydrogen is a non-metal element. I'm showing you here an atom of hydrogen, and you can see that hydrogen only has one electron. Now, the first energy level can hold a maximum of two electrons. So this hydrogen atom requires one more electron to achieve a full outer energy level. In the case of a hydrogen molecule, it achieves this by bonding with another hydrogen atom. So I'm showing you here a second atom of hydrogen. For this hydrogen atom, I'm showing the electron as a cross rather than a dot. However, you need to remember that dots and crosses both show an electron. So now the two hydrogen atoms overlap their energy levels and they share their electrons like this. Now you can see that both hydrogen atoms have two electrons. In other words, both atoms have achieved a full outer energy level, just like a group zero noble gas. By sharing a pair of electrons, the hydrogen atoms have formed a single covalent bond. And you need to remember that a covalent bond is a strong bond. Now scientists call a diagram like this an energy level diagram. And you could be asked to complete one of these in your exam. Another way of representing this is called a dot and cross diagram. Remember that a dot and cross diagram only shows the electrons in the outer energy level. So this shows the dot and cross diagram for the hydrogen molecule. And again, you could see this in your exam. Now we can represent covalent molecules in an even simpler way. And this is called a stick diagram. So here's the stick diagram for the hydrogen molecule. The line represents the single covalent bond. In other words, the shared pair of electrons. You'll see stick diagrams a lot in chemistry. OK, let's look now at a slightly more complicated molecule. This is the chlorine molecule, Cl2. Here's chlorine in the periodic table. And you can see that chlorine is a non-metal. I'm showing you here two atoms of chlorine. And notice that I've only drawn the outer energy levels. That's because only the outer energy levels are involved in chemical bonding. Each atom of chlorine has 17 electrons. So it has seven electrons in its outer energy level. And we know that because chlorine is in group seven. Each atom of chlorine requires one more electron to achieve a full outer energy level. They can do this by overlapping their outer energy levels and forming a single covalent bond like this. So this is the energy level diagram for the chlorine molecule Cl2. Here are the dot and cross diagram and stick diagram for the chlorine molecule. OK, we're going to look at one final small covalent molecule. This is called hydrogen chloride, which has a formula HCl. As we've seen before, both hydrogen and chlorine are non-metals. So hydrogen chloride is a covalent molecule. As we've seen, a hydrogen atom only has one electron. A chlorine atom has seven electrons in its outer energy level. I'd like you to draw the covalent bonding in the hydrogen chloride molecule. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, both atoms require one extra electron to achieve a full outer energy level. And they do this by overlapping their outer energy levels like this. Here are the dot and cross diagram and the stick diagram for hydrogen chloride. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. 